another awe-inspiring tutorial by the butler. Uh, today I'm going to be answering a question that somebody on my channel asked. Um, here it is. It's from Brockitis91. He said, hey, what windows do you have? It looks new, but it's not Vista. Um, in response to that, I'm running Windows XP, but I have some mods on it, and then I've changed the appearance and such. And then I run some little programs that make it look different. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to get all those. And, uh, yeah. If you hear a little snickering in the background, please ignore it. It's just my annoying little sister. And she will go away if you don't talk to her. Uh, the first thing I did was I turned off all my shortcuts on my desktop. Uh, just because I don't like them there and they look annoying. To turn them off, you just go to, you right click on your desktop, arrange icons by, and then uncheck show desktop icons. They will all go away. If you need to access your desktop after that, just go to my documents, and then click on desktop. And here's everything that would be on my desktop. Normally, if I had icons enabled, uh, the next thing I did was I moved my toolbar and start menu and everything up to the top and made it disappear. Uh, the way I did that was right click on the toolbar, click properties. Um, first you want to uncheck lock the taskbar. And if yours is in a normal place, it's probably down here. Uh, after you have it unlocked, just left click on it and drag it to wherever you want it. I have mine up here. Then go to properties, lock the taskbar again, and uh, check auto hide. And that will make it go away whenever you don't have your mouse up here. Uh, the next thing that I did was I got this thing called a rocket dock. It's this down here, it's a lot like the uh, little dock thing for Mac users. Um, I like it, it's very handy. Uh, link will be in the description for the download but I'm going to show you just some of the different things you can do with it um, you can of course choose your language it's very handy um, you can minimize your windows down to here like I have here I have my internet down here um, you can change the opacity of the icons you can uh, change the way they pop out at you whenever you scroll over them. You can move it from the bottom to the top or the sides. Um, yeah, you can do a lot. You can move it from side to side. Um, yeah, you can change the, picture, the color of it. You can do pretty much anything you want. Um, and now it's on me. There we go. Also, to add and move icons from it, you just left click and drag off to make it go away. And then, if you have your desktop icons on, you can just drag a shortcut down and put it on here and it'll stay there. Or you can um, add item and file or path and then choose which file or path you want to be displayed on here. I'm going to have my documents. So, there we have my documents. Um, the last thing I did was download a theme from Alien Guys. Uh, the link will also be in the description. But, um, that just made it so that this is black. Um, my star menu looks different. Uh, a lot of my icons look different. Um, my mouse did look different, but I changed it. Also, Windows Media Player will look very different. Um, see, that's how some different stuff looks, but I have a link to all this in the description. Um, they have a few different ones. Also, I just want to say that I pretty much ripped off everything that, uh, tutorial dude 101 uses because I liked it and I have no shame so now I'm making a tutorial showing how to get it uh, so yeah props to him 
uh, just check out my partners, um, Tutorial Dude 101, Brockitis 91, and CompuVent. Uh, their links are on my channel right over here. Um, yeah, rate, subscribe, comment. Hope this answers your question, Brockitis. Have fun.